Have you ever pondered the question, does time really slow down? Today we're going to delve into the intriguing world of Einstein's special relativity theory. The idea that time is not as constant as we think might sound like a plot from a sci-fi movie, but it's actually a cornerstone of modern physics. What if time can stretch and squeeze, warp and weft, just like a cosmic fabric? As you'll see, this isn't just a philosophical question, it's a matter of science. To understand the concept of time dilation, we first need to grasp Einstein's special relativity theory. This revolutionary theory, proposed by Albert Einstein in the early 20th century, fundamentally changed our understanding of time and space. It's a bit like a plot twist in a thrilling novel, challenging our preconceived notions and turning our world upside down. The theory hinges on two significant postulates. The first postulate holds that the laws of physics are identical for all observers, regardless of their state of motion or rest. This means that whether you're sitting quietly in a coffee shop or sprinting for a bus, the laws of physics apply to you in the same way. The second postulate asserts that the speed of light in a vacuum is constant, and it's the same for all observers, no matter their relative motion or the motion of the source of light. It's like a cosmic speed limit that nothing can surpass. So, how does this relate to the flow of time? Let's delve deeper. One of the most mind-boggling outcomes of Einstein's special relativity theory is called time dilation. Now, let's dive into this concept. Picture it like this. You have two identical twins. One stays on Earth while the other embarks on a high-speed journey through space. According to Einstein's theory, when the spacefaring twin returns to Earth, he will be younger than his earthbound twin. Sounds like science fiction, right? But this is actually a fundamental part of the theory of relativity. It's called time dilation. Time dilation refers to the idea that time passes at different rates in different frames of reference moving relative to each other. The faster you move, the slower your time will pass relative to someone who is stationary. This isn't something we notice in our daily lives because the effect is only significant at speeds close to the speed of light. So back to our twins. If the spacefaring twin traveled at near light speed, his clock would slow down compared to his twin's clock on Earth. This isn't because the clock is broken or there's some sort of interstellar magic at play, but because time itself is passing at a different rate for him. This isn't just theoretical, by the way. Time dilation has been proven through countless experiments. For instance, atomic clocks flown on aircraft have been shown to measure time passing more slowly than identical clocks left on Earth. But here's where things get even weirder. Not only does speed affect the passage of time, but so does gravity. This is known as gravitational time dilation. The stronger the gravitational field, the slower time passes. So if you were to hang out near a black hole, not recommended by the way, your clock would tick slower than someone's clock far away from the black hole. Yes, according to Einstein, time can indeed slow down, but under what circumstances does this occur? Tune in for the next part of our exploration of Einstein's special relativity theory on science and technology, where we'll delve deeper into the fascinating relationship between the speed of light and time dilation. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share. Time dilation becomes significant when we approach the speed of light. This concept born out of Einstein's special theory of relativity might seem surreal, but let's dive deeper. Imagine you're on a spaceship traveling at a speed close to that of light. According to the theory, your clock would tick slower than a stationary clock back on Earth. This isn't because your clock is broken or there's a fault in your spaceship. No, this is due to the unique relationship between speed and time. As your speed increases, nearing the speed of light, time for you begins to dilate or stretch out. The faster you move, the slower your clock ticks relative to a stationary observer. This is time dilation, and it's not just a wild theory, it's a proven fact. In 1971, scientists conducted the Huffley Keating experiment, where they flew atomic clocks around the world on commercial flights. The clocks on the flights, moving at high speed, indeed slowed down compared to those left stationary on the ground. The difference was minuscule, but it was there, confirming Einstein's predictions. Another testament to time dilation is the world of subatomic particles. 
Particles called muons, created high in the Earth's atmosphere, decay rapidly, usually within a fraction of a second, yet we detect them at ground level. For the muons, time is stretched out as they travel at near light speeds, allowing them to survive the trip down to our detectors. Time dilation even affects GPS satellites, which move faster than us due to their orbit around the Earth. The onboard clocks run slower, and corrections have to be made to keep our GPS systems accurate. So, while it might seem like the stuff of science fiction, time dilation is very much a part of our world. The faster we move, the slower time flows. It's a fascinating aspect of our universe, one that challenges our everyday perception of time. And so we find that as we approach the speed of light, time does not merely march on. It dances, it stretches, it dilates. So while it's not something we experience in our daily lives, time dilation is a real and proven phenomenon. Let's take a moment to summarize what we've learned about Einstein's special relativity theory and time dilation. We began by asking the question, does time really slow down? And found that the answer isn't as straightforward as we might think. We delved into Einstein's special relativity theory, a revolutionary concept that changed our understanding of time and space. This theory brought forth the idea that time isn't a constant entity, but can change based on our speed and the influence of gravity. Then we explored the concept of time dilation, a direct result of Einstein's theory. Time dilation illustrates how time can stretch and slow down relative to an observer's speed or proximity to a gravitational field. We also looked at the connection between the speed of light and time dilation. We learned that as we approach the speed of light, time appears to slow down for us compared to someone stationary. This is a fascinating phenomenon that continues to captivate scientists and researchers worldwide. The journey through Einstein's special relativity theory and time dilation shows us that our universe is full of mystery and intrigue. It challenges us to question our understanding and perceptions of time and space. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to Science and Technology. Like, comment and share. Until next time, keep questioning and keep exploring the mysteries of our universe.